Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Big Mac here. Back today with another unboxing. Yes, it is finally here. I had ordered my rugged case from Sadio.com and it has finally arrived. So, let's go ahead and get into this bad boy and do a install slash unboxing video. Um, since I know a lot of people do the, um, they had the package or the case on the phone already, but they never show you how it is to install or what parts, what comes with it, and all that good stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this right now. Inside the box, what you get is a ultimate screen guard for the Droid X. Um, I myself like using the SGP anti-fingerprint shields. Um, to me there's nothing better. Um, this might be a good screen shield but I'm definitely not going to use this. I'm going to continue to use my uh, anti-fingerprint screen shields. Um, on here already I have the um, this is from Boxwave the Motorola Droid X. Um, it's called the Armor Aluminum Case. Um, it is a Amico um, metal case, but I did notice some uh, signal loss um, issues with this uh, metal case on there. So that's one of the reasons why I went ahead and picked up the uh, Cydio Rugged Case for the Droid X. Uh, this is the package. This is what it looks like when you get it. Um, on the back here, it tells you works with Motorola Droid X compatibility. Uh, this is the combo. In here, the features are you get a holster, you get the inner case, um, leather cases, send the batteries. Oh no, that's a, a list of what they sell. It says features. Why would they put features and then list everything they sell? We're going to go ahead and open this package up and uh, get the install going here, guys. A couple of tapes here. So, get this other one here. Sorry about the background noise. We have a stuff going on here today. So, this is what you get inside the box here. Oops, sorry about that. Um, this is the case itself. I'm hold it up next to the phone. So it is going to add some bulk, guys. Um, definitely a, a bulkier style case. Here is the holster that comes with it. It is felt lined. Um, there's no rubber padding or anything down the bottoms. It's just a back piece. It, Helps protect the screen um, of the phone itself. Um, you do have your the big clip here at the top. When you slide the thing in, it locks it in place. Um, basically, this is how you do it like this. Sit it in there, push it in, and you can take it out. You just flip it up, clean it out, or you can hit this lock up switch, which just pulls up and locks the phone in place. So Let's go ahead and tackle this. Um, this is my first rugged case, guys, so um, I'm really excited to see. Um, build quality seems really, really nice. Um, I was kind of worried about this rubber, thinking it was going to be sticky, but it's not. It's almost like it's powder coated and it's soft, where it's not going to hold a whole lot of lint and pull a lot of lint out of your pocket if you would happen to use this uh, in your pocket instead of using the holster with it so um, but it does feel like a nice uh, dense silicone um, like I said it does have a, like a powdered finish on it so it doesn't seem like it's going to hold a lot of pocket lint okay so here is your assembly of your rugged add-on kit it's, it's a phone case <laughs> That's all I can really say. Okay. Inside, 
of course, more instructions. Um, first thoughts on the on the uh, surface case. Um, it does seem really thin. So if you guys are looking for a nice rubberized feel, thin case, uh, the surface seems like a really nice case, but it does seem to be built a little thin. Like without the extra silicone and spine piece on here, um, I think I might be a little worried about dropping it and it's just popping off and it getting all scratched up. So I'm going to try and see. I got my NFL skins on here. So I'm hoping that, that I don't have to take it off because I just like having the extra added security on there. So let's go ahead and, and press this on. Okay, so the surface case does fit with a uh, NFL skins on the back, which will help you know take up any scratches that the back could incur and up top here. Um, which is really nice. Uh, first thoughts on the surface case. Um, very nice, very form fitting, almost no added bulk at all. Uh, it actually gives it a, a very nice feel in the hand. Um, I could see using this just like this. Um, you know, if I have to go to like a wedding or some kind of gathering or, you know, a meeting or something. Um, this, this looks very nice, very professional, very clean. Um, very nice cutouts. Everything is opened very, very well. Um, that is definitely not a problem with this. Second part is your skin, the rubber uh, anti-shock, you know, skin. Uh, first thoughts: very nice, very soft, very supple. Um, like I said, it does not have that sticky, gooey. Uh, grimy feel to where you know it feels like it's going to hold. If you would happen to just throw this in your pocket instead of using it with the holster itself here, um, it doesn't seem like it's going to grab a bunch of pocket lint and you're going to be sitting here wiping your phone off all day long. So let's go ahead and toss this part in here and stretch this over. Line it up nice here. Okay. Um, as you can see, power button works very well. Um, first thoughts, um, doesn't add, doesn't add too, too much bulk, guys. Uh, I've read a lot of people saying where it adds too much bulk and, you know, it's a really big, huge case. Guys, if you're already used to the phone, um, the size of the phone, it's really not, really, really not that much difference, guys. I mean, you're talking the thickness of the silicone case. Um, not a real big huge factor. Um, it does have a nice lip around here which is going to protect your phone. Uh, if you did happen to drop it, uh, it's not going to be scratched. But if it does land on rocks, that's a different thing. Um, but it does keep it up off the screen, up off of the, um, the ground or the tabletop, which will, you know, save your, your screen, your screen shields. And it's got about a quarter inch lift on it, so that's, a nice feature that I like. I like seeing that on there. Um, your buttons, as you can see, pushing them very easily. Um, is this going to be a problem? No. As you can see, I could scroll back and forth. Um, use this one here. As you guys can see, you can switch your you can switch your icons back and forth very easily. Um, it does push over on here a little bit when you go to, to move it um, because the case is very form-fitting. It is to the exact part of the screen where you would be at on moving your icons around. Is it intrusive? Not really. At least for me it's not. Um, I don't see it being a big deal. Um, I want lots of coverage for my phone, so this seems like it's going to work very well. So let's go ahead and snap on the spine. which fits very, very nice, very snug. And after you get this spine on, it, um, you gotta kinda press along here and squeeze out the silicone, 
which is going to enforce the sides here along here to fit a lot nicer as you can see your speaker is nicely cut out you got a nice hole for your microphone and the camera door and this is one of the things that I liked um, it does pop open and it holds right back in place like advertised um, very very nice feeling so far um, once you get the the spine on the back guys this phone this phone case tightens up very very well um, I really like the way that it's fitting um, it feels really good really secure like I said guys if you're already used to the phone itself um, it really doesn't add a whole whole lot of bulk guys honestly um, like I said if you're already used to the size of the phone and your phone in the case it feels just like that uh, if you have a, a Verizon carbon fiber case it kind of feels like the size of that once you have it in there uh, honestly guys it really doesn't add a whole crap load of uh, bulk to it as you can see there's your my headphone port uh, a lot of space in there to get any style of headphone connector in there uh, and it does seal up very nice along the sides bottom other side as I stated before the volume rocker works very very good the uh, we'll go ahead and turn the camera on here uh, you can't see anything but we're gonna go ahead and hit the camera button as you can see it took a picture very very easily uh, the bottom down here does add a little bulk when you go to use your buttons but if you're using this phone as a smartphone which most people use one hand push and even if you're holding it with one hand you can see I can still push all my buttons you can hear the clicking okay um, it does not really add a whole lot of bulk guys I, I'm trying to stress this because um, all the reviews I've seen people saying about it looks big it looks huge it looks like it's adding a lot of bulk um, it really doesn't guys the only place where it might be a problem for some people was down along here but as I said if you're using it as in the smartphone fashion uh, you're gonna be using you know finger pecking technique anyway as you would with you know anything like this so um, all in all guys it seems like a really solid case um, you know worth checking out um, with the spine on the back it, it fits and tightens the whole case up very very nicely and um, it just it's really nice that's all I can say about it guys um, the feel definitely not a cheap feeling case uh, fits very nice and tight um, even when you snap it into the holster and pull up on the secure tab that that thing is not going nowhere okay so that's it for me guys this is mr. biggie Mac with the studio rugged case for the droid X and I'll see you guys on YouTube have a good one